Are you curious about what you can do in Anaheim besides Disney? Well, let's take a look at that. Hi everyone, it's Kat from the Mouse Scout. And today we thought we'd take a look at Anaheim, California and see what it has to offer besides just Disneyland. The city of Anaheim was founded in 1857 by 50 German-American families. The name Anaheim is a blend of Anna after the nearby Santa Ana River and German Heim, meaning home. It remained primarily an agricultural community until Disneyland opened in 1955. It's actually grown into the 10th most populous city in California. The area surrounding Disneyland is named the Anaheim Resort. This 1,087 acre area is specifically designated for recreation and tourist and convention related activities. They have their own transportation system called the Anaheim Resort Transportation, or ART. ART was created for the greater good of the community in pursuit of cleaner air and less congestion. Within the next couple of years, their fleet will be 100% electric, which I think is quite impressive. They are a public transportation system operating within the Anaheim Resort District and the surrounding areas. Be sure to download their app for a convenient way to purchase your passes. Go to rideart.org or search for Ride Art in the App Store on your phone. There are also several more ways to purchase your passes. There are seven kiosks throughout the Anaheim Resort area. You can purchase your passes at many of the participating hotels in the area. There are vending machines at the Hilton Anaheim, Anaheim Garden Walk Concierge Desk, or Denny's Restaurant. And you can always pay for a one-way pass with cash aboard any of the buses. Just make sure you have exact change and check for current pricing before boarding. You'll see their bus stops everywhere around the resort. Another fantastic way to get around Anaheim is Fran which stands for Free Rides Around the Neighborhood. To use Fran, download the Center City Anaheim app. Although Fran doesn't serve the immediate area around Disneyland, it is primarily located in Anaheim's downtown area known as Center City and is a great way to see the sights. So be sure to check out their predefined stops near popular destinations in Anaheim. The preceding images and videos for Art and Fran were kindly provided by the Anaheim Resort Transportation. The Great Wolf Lodge is not only a hotel, but it's an indoor water park too. It's located in Garden Grove, about two and a half miles from Disneyland. Your stay at the hotel includes access to 105,000 square feet of water park fun, with 14 slides and four pools kept at a warm 84 degrees year-round. However, if you just want to enjoy the water park, they do offer day passes as well. The hotel looks like one large log cabin, and their mascots are wolves, bears, squirrels, and raccoons. Throughout the day, they have character appearances and story time and PJ parties for the kids. And they have a lot of attractions too, like a large arcade, Build-A-Bear workshop, miniature golf, laser tag, and a Magi Quest adventure where you could explore the lodge as you complete your quest. It's an all-suite hotel with themed and standard rooms, which sleep up to six people, and premium rooms that sleep up to 10. Be sure to check out their website for all pricing and current offers. We have not had a chance to stay there yet, 
These images and videos were kindly provided to us by the Great Wolf Lodge, but we look forward to covering this hotel in the future. The Anaheim Garden Walk is located less than a mile from Disneyland and offers restaurants, shopping, and entertainment. There's a great variety of restaurants and many more are coming soon. The list of restaurants include Bubba Gump Shrimp, California Pizza Kitchen, The Cheesecake Factory, House of Blues, Johnny Rockets, McCormick and Schmidt's Grill, P.F. Chang's, and Roy's Restaurant. But be sure to check out their website, AnaheimGardenWalk.com, for the current list. There's some fun stuff to do here, too. Flight Deck offers flight simulators where you can pilot jets or a Boeing 737. There's a Mission Escape Games where you and your family can work together to solve the puzzles to escape the room. And there's a bowling alley called Bowl More Lanes. One word of advice, the parking here is very confusing. So be sure to note where you've parked and what elevator you rode up in when you arrived. It felt like we were in an escape room just trying to find our car the other day. If you've ever been on the 5 driving through Anaheim, you will have noticed the big cube on its side by the freeway. That is called the Discovery Cube, Orange County. It's located just 5 miles south of Disneyland in the city of Santa Ana. The Discovery Cube Orange County is a 59,000 square foot center whose mission is to educate kids in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. There are over 100 exhibits in 12 major themes that use activity to bring science to life. 525,000 kids have learned by doing, touching, and observing since the Discovery Cube first opened 35 years ago. Exhibits include DinoQuest, Boeing Rocket Lab, Science of Hockey in association with the Anaheim Ducks, Petersonville Healthy Kitchen, a rock wall in the interactive exhibits, and the door in Diego in the early learning section. Tickets can be purchased online or at the door. There's a fee for parking, but it's inexpensive compared to Disney. And annual memberships of multiple levels are available, so visit the website for more information. A big thank you to Discovery Q for generously providing us this video. Located seven miles north of Disneyland in the neighboring city of Buena Park is Medieval Times. This is a dinner and two hour show of 11th century Spanish pageantry and combat by many knights competing for the queen, Her Majesty Donna Maria Isabella. The arena has stadium seating ensuring that both young and old will have clear views of the action. The queen opens the ceremony and the first of your four courses arrive while you watch falconry and tournaments of skill. There's jousting and sword fighting and you'll cheer for your favorite knight and boo all the others until the final knight is the victor and becomes the queen's champion. Your dinner is served throughout and note that there are no utensils just like it was in the 11th century. Go to MedievalTimes.com to purchase your tickets. Thank you so much to Medieval Times for providing us with these beautiful pictures. If you and your family cannot agree on what's for lunch or dinner, then head on over to the Anaheim Packing House. This food hall is located about three and a half miles from Disneyland and offers a great variety of tasty counter service mom and pop restaurants. The Packing House is located in Anaheim's Packing District and was one of the last remaining citrus packing warehouses in Orange County and has been historically preserved and retrofitted as a great American market hall. According to my count, they have about 27 food merchants. The food ranges from Cajun, Indian, fish and chips, crepes, 
artisan grilled cheese sandwiches, pizza, ice cream, sushi, just to name a few. When we were there recently, we tried George's restaurant and Greg and I both got the fried chicken. We just couldn't help it. At first I thought it was good, but as I continued to eat, it started to taste better and better. We both really enjoyed it. Scattered throughout the week and around the packing district area, they offer live music and movies in the park. Parking here is very, very limited. Although they do have valet, just be sure to bring your patients. Or might I suggest taking the art bus? The Anaheim Convention Center is located right across the street from Disneyland. It's flanked by two hotels, the Anaheim Marriott and the Hilton Anaheim, and it's a beautiful area. This is where Disney has been holding the D23 Expos that started back in 2009. We've been to several of the Expos and have thoroughly enjoyed seeing all the exhibits of upcoming attractions, parks, meet and greets, special merchandise, Disney archives, and Imagineering. But what's always fun is to see the upcoming movies and TV shows. We've seen many, many celebrities at the Expo like Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill, the cast from the recent Star Wars movies, most of the cast from Marvel movies like Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, Robert Downey Jr. We saw Dwayne Johnson, Robin Williams, Johnny Depp came out as Captain Jack Sparrow. We saw Idina Menzel perform Let It Go way before the movie came out and it was amazing. She just gave us all chills. Bob Iger walked less than three feet in front of me and we got to meet our favorite Imagineer, Joe Rohde. So for Disney fans like us, it's Nirvana. But it can also be a form of torture because more and more people are coming to the expos and you have to queue up for hours and hours to get into the presentations. And unfortunately, it's chaotic. But you basically get to see everything that's up and coming for the Disney company. They make a lot of announcements there, and it's tons of fun. One of the best things we got to do at the Expo was have the voice of Disneyland, Bill Rogers, who records all the announcements, record our voicemail greetings on our phones. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Kendra is at Disneyland. Well, of course she is. She's over with Alice in Wonderland and that, that, that crazy creature that smokes the big pipe. Oh, I, <laughs> more information than you needed to know, right? Anyway, leave a message. She'll call you back. Thanks for calling. We're hoping we get to go to the next D23 Expo in 2021 if they have it in Anaheim again. And we'll take lots and lots of video for you. We have a few honorable mentions. Anaheim is home to the Angels. You can always time your trip and take in a game. There is the Honda Center, which is home to the Anaheim Ducks. Museo is a museum and cultural center. Of course, nearby in Buena Park is Knox Berry Farm, which we hope to plan a trip there soon. I haven't been since I was a teenager. And if you need to go shopping, there are the outlets at Orange. We hope you've enjoyed our look at Anaheim, California. Over the years, it's grown into a really nice place to visit with a lot to do. 
If you've enjoyed our video, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload a new video, because we will continue to explore what makes Disney so magical. Also, share this with your Disney friends and give us a thumbs up. It really helps our channel and we appreciate it. Until next time, stay safe, have a wonderful week, and remember, it's all just designed for fun.